you only had one chance, one time, one day in London, what would it look like? Hey, good day everyone, it's Mike and Jen from Finding Fish. Welcome to London. Set out last night from Canada from YYZ Airport to Heathrow. Took about seven hours, plus a three hour flight delay. Great flight though, we arrived a little later than we wanted to, but we still packed it in. We got here, went to Buckingham Palace was on our list. Right. Followed up by coming down to Westminster and seeing Big Ben. Jen's never been to Big Ben before, so yeah. that was on Not our bucket list. Like that. It was amazing. We hit a pub. Oh, yeah. Went down to the Mayflower, checked it out, went there, <laughs> hung out, walked around, went and met up with friends in Mayfair, yeah. walked 12K, went for a fantastic dinner at Fresco Baldi's with a couple Canadian expats, good friends of ours, and uh, we had a good chit chat with them, hung out, and we went to bed. Okay, got up early today, grabbed the tube, which is amazing. If you're coming to London, you're gonna wanna take the tube everywhere you can go it's so efficient and very inexpensive we'll probably spend about 10 pounds each for the day but we're gonna max it out for sure anyway we just went to grab a grab and go coffee from greg's down at westminster and now we're gonna go set out and look for the adventures and look for all the great things that london has to offer starting with old scotland yard yeah. Never been to Scotland Yard before, so we're gonna check that out and we're gonna keep going. Anyway, stay with us. I think today's gonna be amazing. Mind the gap, please. Uh, we found new Scotland Yard and I asked where the old one was and he said, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a history buff. I love this kind of stuff. I'll never be back in England, so hey, that's off the bucket list. Anyway, let's keep going. Yeah. That's an interesting hotel. James Bond. Now, when you come to London, it's a fairy tale city. Like, it's everything you kind of wanted it to be. We come from the Americas, which is way so new. When you come to here, you're coming into history. Buildings that have been here, pubs that have been here for three, five, six hundred, churches that have been here for a thousand years. So, for us, when we come here and we see structures <laughs> like this, it always leaves me wondering why. Who built it? Why did they build it? Where did they come up with the money? And how did they construct it a thousand years ago and it still stands today? In the Americas, we can't even build a place for a hundred years and you need to do shingles, windows, doors, foundations, but they last for a long time here. Now, hidden in between two buildings and two alleys is this really old church. I found it last time I was here and I wanted to come back and check it out. Now, I believe this is one of the oldest churches in London. Built in 1250. Built in 1250 to 1290. Restored to old faith in 1874. That's cool. this church is because I was in the pub that was right beside it so this pub and this church have some crazy history the only reason that pub was built I believe is because of this church
Now that is a hidden gem that you don't get to come across every single day. We were just going to the pub, um, the old miter. And it wasn't open yet. <laughs> it wasn't open yet, but I knew about this church because I found it before. Anyway, this is the oldest Catholic church in London. And there's stained glass in there dating back to 1109. Wow. Like, like when you come here, there's history on top of history and that, that boggles your mind, history. Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard. It's also like history and then in the next moment, there's something brand new. So it's like the old and new mixed together yeah. and finding this amongst all these other buildings. Well, it's finding this in between two streets yeah. is what it is. And these buildings were built in between two streets going out. So these are totally called hidden gems for a reason. And not, not everyone finds them. No. You have to really search hard to come across them. Yeah. Anyway, let's go see if the old miter's open and go have a pint. Yeah. This is the fun about London, is you're in corridors going to old pubs. Now for Jenny and I, it's a lot of fun to find these little pubs that are in between streets that are approximately 500 years old or more, or in this case is about 450. Yeah. And come here, have a pint, talk to the local bartender Learn that about it. knows all the history about not only this pub, but the local surroundings and how they got to become this pub and how it got to grow. Anyway, for us, Sometimes you, you can talk to your local bartender. He's got so much knowledge, it'll really boggle your mind. Anyway, we're having a quick pint and we're gonna keep moving on. Cheers. The old miter. Yum. Oh, delish. Mm. Open her up. Should be open. I couldn't be in a better spot. Hey, right? for people who know me, I'm always cool. And for yeah. for one, I've got a pint. I got a fire. So perfect. Now for us, when we find hidden gems like this, we want to stay here for a little while. Yeah. So this is perfect. Change up our plans. Yeah. We're supposed to be going to the museum. That's a little bit delayed, but we're there next. Cheers. So that pub is like 15, what was it, five? 1540? 1540, I think. Anyway. Now, when we were at the Old Mitre, we had a good conversation with Steve, and Steve told us the bottom line on how to get here. He said, take... Kensington West. Take the tube to Kensington, so we did. He goes, take this tunnel, it'll spit you out. Look for a really beautiful building. He goes, that will be the museum. That's the beauty about talking to a bartender. Not only do they know great things about ales, but they know everything about history. Anyway, so here we are. And this place is free.
you are coming here, you're gonna wanna put some major time aside, probably two to three hours. This facility is absolutely fantastic. It's gorgeous. Not only are the artifacts amazing, but how they are structured in this facility. The actual building itself is like... It's fantastic. For the men and women that created the structure, hats off to you, you did a great job. Anyway, we had a fantastic time here. We're gonna keep going. Now, if you are coming to London and you're looking for an experience, you've got to go to Harrods. Oh my goodness. It does, you get lost there. You will get lost in Harrods, that's a given. Now, Harrods doesn't have to be expensive, but it will be. But you can go in there and have a pizza. Yeah, well, we had pints. And a couple of pints, and you'll get a salad, and it's going to cost you a minimum of 100. Uh, 100. But when you spend seven hours on a flight, it's only going to cost you 100. It's worth it. What are, you, what are you waiting for? Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, so this is the last place that we're gonna be at today. It's called the City of York, or it's called the Old Yorkie. Now, I believe there's been a pub on this premises or on this foundation dating back to 1430. Now, of course, it's burnt down many times. They've reconstructed it, but uh, this place is really cool. We came here because they had a fireplace in the center of it, which is really cool. They burn coal and wood here. They have these little cubicles. It's really unique and it's, it's quite quaint. For the love of London, for the love of old pubs, and for the love of Britain, we've had a great time. We'd like to thank everyone that welcomed us here, especially Kyle and Sean. We want to thank you as well. Okay, that's it for us. We've had a massive week in London. We've hit Buckingham Palace, Tower Bridge, Big Ben, Burroughs, Ma. Hey, like and subscribe. Hit some pubs that are over 500 years old. We just hit at Harris. We're going out for a Japanese restaurant as we speak. And I'm just on my way to Cuba after a few more videos in Europe. Anyway, hey, like, subscribe, and guess what? East or West, I don't know. But guess what? We'll see you in the next video. No matter where you are in the world, try a double cheeseburger. Mind the gap, please.